Hi, and welcome to Next Level Carpentry. You know, cleaning saw blades doesn't need to be drudgery. After all, there's just three steps, soak, scrub, and shine. So hang with me a few minutes, and I'll cover those three steps along with four pro tips that I use to make saw blade cleaning fast and efficient. Check it out. Step number one for fast and efficient saw blade cleaning is soaking. And here's pro tip number one. Use CMT blade cleaner or chemical equivalent. At about 16 bucks for an 18 ounce bottle, I find it a good value for fast and efficient cleaning. For less than the cost of a postage stamp, you'll extend the life of $50 blades and get better results on your woodworking projects. I used to use oven cleaner, which works well, but I've heard the active ingredient of lye is hard on the carbide and the Teflon coating of blades. So I switched to the safer stuff and never looked back. There's plenty of other household products for this step, so if you want, use them if you got them. Personally, I don't want to bring out a wash tub, pour in a half a gallon of something or another, and then wait overnight. This is supposed to be quick and simple, right? Soaking time depends on the grime. Excess buildup of pitch shortens blade life, so I like to clean them up whenever they accumulate a full coat of pitch on the teeth like this. If you only clean your blade every couple years, whether it needs it or not, your soak time is going to be longer. This is an old blade that's seen heavy use, but it's still in good condition. A shallow plastic tray like this works great. Spritz one side of the blade, making sure to coat the face of the teeth in the gullet. Then flip the blade and spritz the other side just before break time. And when you're done with the coat, so is the soak. Having a flat tray really helps the process because it keeps one face of the teeth laying in that cleaner so the solution stays right there on the pitch and resin on the teeth. Break time is over, so it's time for step two. And step two is scrubbing. I like to flip the blade over because the bottom side got more soaking time than the front side, so I scrub this side first. I start scrubbing using a toothbrush. Others recommend a brass or a stainless steel brush, which is all well and good for a bare metal blade but it's not sustainable for a Teflon coated blade like this. Plus, from experience, I see a metal brush is only necessary for inadequate cleaner or soaking time. But, you say, toothbrush bristles aren't stiff enough to get the gunk off, and I agree. They're a little soft for good scrubbing action. So here's pro tip number two. Trim the toothbrush bristles back with shop snips like this to about half their length, and you'll double their scrubbing effectiveness. How about that? Scrub into the gullet all the way around, and then flip and do the second side. One lap around on each side is good enough for most blades. If you've neglected your blade, you may need to repeat the soaking step twice. If you really neglected and abused your blade, you might have to do a bit of scraping in this step, and you'll need to implement pro tip number three. Pro tip number three is using a laminate sample chip for scraping persistent plaque off those tragic teeth. I like to prepare a stack of the chips by staggering the ends a little bit, and then wrapping them with a piece of masking tape before sandwiching them between wood blocks and cutting them at a 45 degree angle with a chop saw. Notice that I put the melamine side towards the fence so it ends up on the sharp point of my little scrapers. The sharpened laminate chips are plenty sharp to scrape off thick resin, but soft enough not to damage carbide edges. And after taking a lap around a 60 tooth blade, scraping all the faces and all the gullets, you'll resolve to take better care of your saw blades. Re-soak and re-scrub if necessary after scraping and you'll be caught up with the rest of us. Once the soaking, scrubbing, and scraping is taken care of, it's time for step number three, to shine the blade. Here again, I don't haul out a tub and a garden hose in a big production. I use pro tip number four and grab a bucket of guy glitter. You know, the one I keep on hand for cleaning glue squeeze out. Just grab a handful and shine the blade with it, one side at a time, going in the opposite direction of the hook of the teeth. Grab the blade by its arbor hole, and then blow dust out of expansion, slots, gullets, and holes in the blade with compressed air. If you don't have compressed air, then a toothbrush with full-length bristles works fine for cleaning residual sawdust off the blade. Then I just use remaining sawdust on the tray to soak up whatever cleaning solutions on there. Then I can put the tray away. 
And when you're done blowing or dusting off the excess sawdust from your blade, you can give it a coat of a product like this Glide Coat from Bostic, which can help extend the time between cleaning, depending on what kind of wood you're cutting and the overall condition of your blade. When that coat dries to powdery white, you can buff it down a little bit, which is supposed to help it bond better to the surface. And then install your clean blade back on your saw and go to work. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope that seeing how simple blade cleaning can be will encourage you to do it a little more often when it's necessary instead of waiting until you got blue smoke billowing out of your tools to stop long enough to clean your blades. My goal here at Next Level Carpentry is to share things that I've learned in over 40 years in the construction trades with viewers like you. So if you like what you just saw here, I hope you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already. And there's a link to the CMT Formula 2050 blade cleaner on the Amazon Influencers page for Next Level Carpentry in case you can't find it anywhere locally. Viewers who buy this or anything else listed on that Amazon Influencers page don't have to spend an extra dime to have Amazon help support this channel with small advertising fees that it pays. How's that for a win-win deal? And as always, from Next Level Carpentry, thanks for watching. I mean, thanks for watching. And when you're done cleaning your teeth, don't forget the floss.